Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure seeing everybody here. I know you've come from far places, and um, it's such a pleasure, and um, you are incredibly welcome. I'd just like to say um, thank you for the invitation to speak. Uh, it's an honor and a, a privilege. Also, I'd like to just extend my gratitude to mum and dad, and also to Pastor Jammer and uh, Pastor Jammer as well. Uh, <laughs> and to uh, the musicians and to, uh, to everybody here, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a privilege. So um, just to say the topic I'll be speaking on is merely scratching the, surf, uh, the, the surface. So if you want the notes, you can speak to me at the end. So I'll be giving the background to the topic that I'll be talking about. I'll also show the dimensions of the topic and also what we can do about it. Right. Faith can, for brevity's sake, be defined as having confidence or trust. But unfortunately, there is a dimension of faith that is often overlooked. A dimension which holds true to the zeal and underlying foundation for the purpose of which we are called. It is the very dimension which assured and helped carry the Lord Jesus Christ to the cross. Yet it's the very dimension that is more than likely to be what creates the crossroads between the disciple and the observer. The dimension I'm referring to is that of loyalty. Now, we know the theme is the rescue mission. How can you embark on a rescue mission when you don't have the key skills to take back what the devil has stolen from you? A rescue mission, this is the theme, which opposes a highly organized satanic kingdom. You need the skills. We have appeals from God in scripture about this dimension, this aspect of faithfulness. When we read the scriptures, James 4 verse 8, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Matthew 6 verse 24, no man can serve two masters. Ephesians 6 verse 5, servants be obedient to them that are your masters. For, yes, for he will hate the one and love the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Ephesians 6 verse 5, servants be obedient to your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in singleness of heart as unto Christ. Matthew 22 verse 21, Render unto Caesars what is Caesars, and unto God what is God. So this thing of loyalty is something which is really overlooked in the church today. And uh, for, for, for young people that are going off to university, this is something which is of profound importance. Revelations 12 verse 11 says, They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. So there's two things, the blood and the testimony. Loyalty is faithfulness or devotion to a person, country, group, or cause. There's a reality to our walk that most men desire, but don't observe. observe. There's a destination to grace bestowed that the carnal mind can't follow. I want to just, before I give you some tools uh, for, for later, I would just like to say this. And I want everybody to really just take account of this. The distinctions that men and women make of each other, God does not make. He does not use a carnal system to determine the outcome of his will, favor, or relationship to man. Now, I know because I haven't got much time, I'm going to quickly go through this. 
I don't know if you know, but there's a book called Fox's Book of Martyrs. I don't know if anybody has, um, has heard of it. Fox's Book of Martyrs. I'd like to give you as part of my tool to you to buy or download this book. This book was outside of the Bible, mostly read by Protestants, and I believe at the time over 284 martyrs um, were burned at the stake. So this was an incredible time for, for persecution. Now, we talk about, thank you, <laughs> we talk about loyalty. We talk about loyalty. When we look at the disciples, we know that Matthew suffered martyrdom in Ethiopia. He was killed by the sword. Mark, he died in Egypt. He was dragged by horses through the streets until he was dead. Luke was hanged in Greece as a, as, as a result of tremendous preaching.